Inflation and poverty threshold led the Regional Tripartite Wages and Productivity Board in the National Capital Region to raise the salary. This after the Wage Board received several wage petitions from labor groups. Based on the wage order, a 35 peso increase will be applied to minimum wage workers in Metro Manila. This means that from a daily wage of 610 pesos, workers under non-agriculture sectors or industry will receive 645 pesos salary, while minimum wage workers in the agriculture sectors for both plantation and non-plantation will have their salary increase from 573 to 608 pesos. This also applies to service or retail establishments that employ 15 workers or lesser and manufacturing establishments which regularly employs less than 10 workers. The Employers Confederation of the Philippines or ECOP however anticipates lower salary increase. <laughs> Computation in the same place, but I said, "Go ahead, lah. But I mean, computation, but I mean, factors are not considered. You, you wage more than the low bar. So, I mean, I should be the normal. At at the end of the day, it is to a kind of objective that affects the task as well, though." But ECOB says the impact on the wage increase is not on the big companies, but rather on micro enterprises. Enterprises that the ninety percent is micro. Eh, yung mga yun eh, kahit na sa pupisyo yan, hihit na hihit. Dahil maraming pangalan eh, ay ganyan dumadaig pa rin maraming pa hindi nagbubukas dahil sa taso suwerto eh. Eh, yun ang may problema yung mga micro. The wage increase takes effect 15 days after its publication today, July 1, 2024. Asher Kadapan Jr., UNTV News and Rescue. We serve the people, we give glory to God.